For the last four years, I have led the fight for marriage equality in this town. And it has not always been easy, but I can assure you that in the New York State Assembly, under the leadership of Shelley Silver, we did and we do have the votes to pass this bill. It's not usually this pleasant in Albany because it's not usually the end of May. So the time for marriage is now. We must have a bill, we must move this process along, and we cannot wait any longer. During the four years that I have tried to bring this bill to the floor, it has not been a, a, a uniquely democratic thing. It has not been a uniquely gay thing. You cannot pass anything with only gay or lesbian votes. You cannot get bills passed that are only supported by one party. And in that, I had one truly phenomenal ally. A woman who was elected the same year I was. A woman of purpose and of dignity and of strength. And a woman who was willing to stand up and say, gay people are part of everyone's families. And because of her voice, because of her voice, she helped us pass the bill in 2007. She helped us pass the bill in 2009. And I can assure you, she's going to have help us pass the bill again yeah. in 2011. My dear friend, Assemblymember Teresa Sayward. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here today. Um, this is the year for it. Yeah. now. This issue of gay rights, this civil rights issue, is truly a family issue. My son is gay. And, and he's a wonderful son. And unless you have been discriminated before, and I would guess many of you have been, you see what families have to go through when we're trying just to make sure that our children, every one of our children, I have four children, three straight, one gay. To me, they're all the same. They're my family, and we will no longer tolerate the injustices that have been going on in New York State for far too long. We're going to pass gender, and we're going to make marriage legal in New York State this year. Thank you. The good news is, is that not only LGBT people are the people who want these basic fundamental fairness issues. We know that close to 60% of New Yorkers want marriage for same-sex couples. We know that o over 75% of New Yorkers want there to be a transgender statewide civil rights law. And we can see and feel here with us today the strength and solidarity of our community.